Hi everybody, and I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Hey Ayo! Hey this is like just the last minute. What it's, we hump, do, it, it's hump day. It's hump day, and we're doing what we do best, winging it. So, Helen's like, what, do you want me to cook you some tea? And I'm like, it's even better than that. It's an art, well, it's not raining for a, for a start. It's, sorry, touch wood. Because it's been raining for about a month, hasn't it, non-stop, <laughs> and it don't look... So I'm like, well, why don't we head out to uh, Castleton and park up? Mm. And uh, we can do some cooking and then keep it van, can't we? Happy days. Okay. It's a race against time. Yeah, it's a race against time before it goes dark. Yeah, so where we are it is a place, it's called Broken Road, and it's uh, right, we're parked right next to the uh, Blue John Cavern there. I'm <laughs> What's that you've got? On? It's my McDonald's apron. Do you know you've got that? No, I'm, I'm still there. Can I say <laughs> that? It was my souvenir. You, you wasn't. From 18 years at McDonald's. You was a manager there for quite I a was. Time. So, no, the, the manager at the time said I could have it for prosperity. Right, right then. didn't have any um, tablecloth clips and it was really windy last time and I can't find anything but I've got these towel ones that you use you know for when you're on the beach the towel. Yeah. so you've got one there oh, oh wow, okay we could put the ice cream on there that's gonna get knocked off isn't it what so god so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got nine cloves of garlic, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. The rubber gloves are coming out again because I'm handling raw chicken. And in a van, it's really difficult to wash your hands. And really, if you're handling raw meat and stuff, hand gel, it's just not going to cut it. So, uh, the recipe says that you need to score each chicken breast Three times, chop up your garlic and insert it into the, the slits that you've made. I'll watch the chicken from here. Was that white wine you just put in, Helen? It is, yeah. I missed that. Maybe you should put some more in. Why? I didn't catch it on camera, so maybe just put a bit more in. Okay. Are you going to catch it? This yeah. Time? Right, so some white wine. Not too much, because we're going to drink some of this. It's not got the same effect. No. Because, uh, yeah. I'm going to put the kettle on now. Oh, oh that started from straight away. Why? Because it's like the, a... Look how many... Does it use a lot of stuff? A lot of juice? Yeah, that's too powerful. For, uh, that kettle's too powerful. So what should you do? Uh, so this is the first dilemma we've got is... <laughs> the kettle's too powerful for the... Have you got Power bank. One? Try it in my, my van one. Will it knacker it, do you think? It could blow a fuse, I don't want to do that. I've so got I've a pan. Got I've, I've got a pan, yeah. Oh, well, Bluette, you failed, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good job it's not sponsored by Bluette, isn't it? It is. So, so how come 
that a normal kettle if you can't Because of the warts, because kettles use a ton of warts, so don't they? So what kind they? of kettle are you supposed to have? But that's, this is just a sort of... It, it's you not... see, we're road testing all this stuff for other people. Yeah, but that one... They won't say that that would power that anyway, so... But, do you know if I was just like a person that was buying one of those? Yeah. I would expect it to be able to plug my kettle into there. So, if you're... So what, a... can you plug it <laughs> what can you plug in? Well, it? It, that's the first thing it's not worked. I, I mean, I love it. I love that power bank. That's the first thing well, that's not worked. Uh, quite a few bits. I, oh, I use what? it... For, well, I, I, I charge me, all my things up. I plug my computer into it. Uh, we cut, we did them potatoes in steamer, so it controls the oh. bit steamer. Uh, so if any power bank companies out there would like to, you know, so me to try this. Different suggestion. Yeah, I know there is ones that are a lot more powerful, and I think my van power might do it, but I don't want to risk it. No, I don't bother. Because it we'll was just, wired up uh, by we'll me. Boil the water in a pan. Yeah, I'll get a pan. Okay. So, I'm going to take this off and boil the water now. Well, I can't film. I was just filming it. Mm. I'm boiling water now. She says, come and film chicken, and then she lifts it off. Oh, there's a fly. It's all right. It's not hurt. I'll get it out. It's one of the downsides of... It's drowning. Uh... There we are. He didn't drink much. <laughs> <laughs> well... It turned out a fairly nice evening. Raise the chicken and... So, where are we going? I was going into the pan with the white wine and the chicken. I've just had to take it off because we've only got one ring. And then one large lemon goes into there, but I've only got two small ones. I think I've taken all pips out. I just had these in my cupboard, but you, Aldi do do the uh, like stock cubes, chicken stock cube. Um, I got all the ingredients from Aldi. Good old Aldi. Do you know I got a parking ticket recently in an Aldi car park, and I just rung up the customer services. I didn't even have to explain or anything, and they just cancelled it, and they were just so brilliant. So thank you, Aldi. That was that was like it made my day because I was really worried. Ooh. Right, so one stock cube. Oh, I'll do. It's a shame that we can't broadcast the smell over YouTube because it, it smells Smelly amazing. Vision. It does smell very nice, doesn't it? Half a cup of chicken broth. I've just used Oxo. Be alright. Be right. Be right. Do you know what? <laughs> so I've used one Oxo uh, chicken cube. Cover it tightly with foil the foil's there while helen does that i will just remind you how awesome van life is because look at our dining room this is our dining room and this will be our uh, breakfast area in the morning breakfast yeah we'll just sleep in here well i was gonna say what have you brought for breakfast i ain't fetched no love we'll go to mcdonald's <laughs> So I'm going to put a timer on now. It says six, five to six minutes on both sides, so I'll do it for five. <laughs> you're the best girlfriend <laughs> in the world. Oh, you're the best boyfriend in the world. Do you want to top off? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing it, but don't you know, forget I'm the cameraman. Roasted vegetable couscous from Aldi. Oh. And the good thing about this is that you can just boil water and then you put it in your bowl and then pour your water into it and then it's ready in five minutes. 
That's okay, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Do you know why they leave the stalks on? No. Oh, because right. they smell of like tomatoes and greenhouses. Oh, right. Yeah. So it says three small tomatoes, so we'll just have. Three large. Uh, sorry, four small, so we'll have three large. Do you think that, that'll be all right? That's a lot of tomatoes. I'll be all right. Be right. Be right. And we need some olives and some onion. Are you putting this on the chicken or? Yeah. So then we need to um, we need to cover it up again. Okay. So they said something like. Hang on. Bloody motorbikes ruining my cooking program. <laughs> That's a bit rude, isn't, isn't it? it? They ruin everything, motorbikes. I can't yeah. even remember how many they said. You like olives, don't you? I was trying to film uh, when we were in Grasby, and I was trying to film tranquil moments with the church and things like that, and then bloody motorbikes kept coming past. <laughs> it's disgusting. So do you put the olives in with it? Yeah. Are you cooking the olives? I'm going to cut them in half. I think what we need to do, we need to talk about how professional I am. How <laughs> professional you are? With me spotlight. Oh yeah. Get yeah. a spot, a spotlight. That, that's from my... It's one of the spotlights I use to take photos of antiques. But we could have done with both of them really, I've got two. It's getting a bit dark. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, but do you know what? I've got a job to do. You yeah. have. So unfortunate. You're just doing what you're doing. You're doing an amazing job, Helen. Right, so the capers and the olives are in. Let's just give it a bit of a stir. I don't know if you're getting this. Uh, I'll try and remember to put the... Uh, the sort of recipe or whatever, the ingredients in the description. But I'll probably forget. Don't forget. It's good People that, might it? want to cook it. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I'm feeling very professional tonight. Right, so look. Come and look. Come and look. Come and show him. I can't get because they're all equipment. Oh, bleeding now. Right, so now... Right, I'll just turn it off. I'll just turn it off at the down. So now we're going to put some basil. Oh, you can't beat a bit of basil. Right, I, uh, it said parsley, but when I went into Aldi, there was only curly parsley and I don't like curly parsley. Oh no, cheese uh, hands! Cheese hands! What, gonna, what am I gonna do with these? Got that. Right, so. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I fetched the spotlight. I know, <laughs> because yeah. it's dark! Because it's really dark. We'll right, get... do you know now, I can take my hair down like one oh. of those, you know, like James you've Bond secretary. You've got to do that thing with your head. That was like a gormless version of James Bond. <laughs> I just didn't want to get hair in the dinner. You look beautiful, I'm only kidding. You look absolutely, like absolutely gorgeous. Right then, two breasts coming up. Oh gosh, that's a lot, isn't it? Dinner is served. <laughs> no, no, sir. There was all these people interrupting our... <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. The spider's getting attacked by midges. <laughs> and cows mowing away in the background. 
I just want to say... This is so nice. But if you'd paid good money for that in a restaurant, you'd be like, yeah. wow. Yeah, honestly, everybody, all our subscribers, you need to cook this. You need to try it. Is it is really yeah. good. It's absolutely amazing. Mm. I'm so lucky to have such a wonderful girlfriend, aren't I? Aww, thank um, you. Right. So, I'm sat under this light and I'm getting moths and all sorts on me. And the funny thing is, cars keep coming past, have a look. And they must think, oh my god, what are those two people doing? They don't care, do they? No, nah, do I don't care. So, yeah, that that was amazing, Helen, I've got to say. And Even though I say so myself, still, that was really tasty. There's still people coming past, coming to check us out. Okay. Anyway, can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, you can see me. You can see me. We're just going to chill out now for a bit and have a couple of beers. And get his Jimmy Jammies on. Get his Jimmy Jammies on, then get back at van and have a good sleep. And, uh, and some special cuddles. Special cuddles. <laughs> special, special cuddles. <laughs> so, you can't really see much now, because... Hey, <laughs> hey up, mate. Hey. So we didn't really do a, a a good night thing, did we? But no. And then I've just watched the Grassmere video because I didn't watch it yeah. when it first, and it was good. I liked it. And then I've just watched the. Oh God! Look at oh. all those flies on that oh. light. Oh dear. Those are midges. Oh. They're lo There's loads. Oh, that'll be right. Don't hurt. And then. And then I've watched the Scarfell Pike video. And Nobody's I, seen that yet. I know I have. Oh, they will have all this is on. It's great. You've had a sneak preview. <gasps> I lucky. never have a sneak preview. Right. We've had doors open. There's like but... loads of midges in the van. Is that going to be a bad thing? I don't know. Do they bite you in the eye? Yeah, I think so. They might bite you. Oh shit, there's loads of them. There is. And you know, on that light over there, there's mm. loads over there. There's nothing can do about it, is there now? Well. They're not going to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, they will. They'll bite you. They'll eat you alive. Right, anyway. Have you got any insect repellent? No, of course I haven't. Oh. It's about bloody 3 a.m. It's not. It is. Is it? Yeah. No. Because <laughs> as I said, we've been looking at stars and drinking beer and chatting, and that's what I love about my life. Oh, oh, you've buggered it now. I was trying to... Just leave the light. Swap oh, those stop, things. Stop it. Do you know what? I never kill spiders. I always, right. like, catch them and then let them free. Okay, let's go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just when we turn the light off, it they'll go away. <laughs> they won't. Right. They'll land on your bald head oh. and they'll bite you. Right, good night. <laughs> that was the freaking moth. Oh, chuffy now. Right, it's it wants the light. That's actually buzzing. Buzzing. That when it goes past your ear. It will be its wings flapping really fast. It's going to eat all my clothes, that, isn't it? <laughs> I'll have to defumigate the van. It's you'll have, to, I left you'll have to get some mothballs. It's because I left lights on it back at van oh, and no. doors were open. What you like. Right. Anyway, can we go now? I know. <sighs> oh. I'm knackered. I need to go to sleep. Good night. Good night. See you there. Tra. Tra. See there. I like build up to it. See there.